Hey everyone, this is the next video in our series about Pivotal Cloud Foundry tutorial. In this video, we are going to deploy our first application to the PCF environment using PCF CLI, command line interface. CLI means command line interface. So, if you watch the previous video, you know how to set up the environment and how to use this CLI. Right? So, go ahead and see how we can do this. So, these are the steps that we have to perform. Open CF CLI, log in and get the artifact, get the jar that you want to push and post it to app. So, we are going ahead step by step. So, to log in, the command is CF login and you press enter. It will by default point to the API endpoint that it has access to, right? If it is not coming, uh, see, mention the issue in comment section. I will see why it is not coming. So, enter the email ID that you have registered with, password for the same, it will authenticate, everything is okay. So, we have, if you see the previous video, we have two spaces, spaces in our uh, PCF environment. So, we have to select which one we want to go. Suppose we want to go to the second one. So, you can see all the details here, API endpoint. So, where you have access to. Uh, which space which org you have so you can see all the details here right so we are logged in into the system we can see cf apps there are no apps in the environment for us so that is why no apps found so we are going ahead and creating the jar and pushing it and we see it will return some value right so go ahead and create the jar first so i'm going to create the simple spring boot application rest endpoint so this is the place where you can go ahead so i'm fast forwarding it and creating the jar where is, the, where is the dependency that you need for now generate the project go here open this in IntelliJ idea okay, close this part let the dependencies download so all the dependencies has been downloaded so i'm going ahead create quickly creating a single endpoint right so i'll put one annotation here rest controller and put one method public Hello, putting get mapping right. So when I press this hello, we should get this hello piece here. So we have this endpoint ready. So I am going ahead and creating the jar for this right. So what we can do for that gradually clean build. So you know this is step how we can do this right. So I do not want to run the tests right. So you go ahead and it will give me the artifactory that we want to run with right so these are the steps that are not related to pivotal cloud foundry so we just have need to have the artifactory that you want to push with so you go to build and this lips path right so this is the place this is the artifactory that you want to push to pcf right so uh, what you will do if you want to run this application locally what you will do you will open the command prompt right so you will do java hyperchar and put this and start this application right so this way your spring boot application is running and you will see the endpoint right so started hello pcf application on 808 port so if i want to access this localhost 880 this is the place where it is running and i can say hello and it will return me hello pcf right same thing we want with pcf so problem with this local machine is right so right now i only i can whoever person is on this local machine my machine can access this no other can access what if i want to get available this uh, to the entire world within seconds so let me show you how we can do this copy this part and move to cd this directory right so we are here right so if i press dir so i can see the directory is available here so what is the magical command that you have to give cf push then name of the name of the application that you are pushing you have to give some name to that application right so suppose i want to give it hello pcf one two three right so in some sense it should be unique it should not be available with the uh it should not be already available if it is available it will throw error that it is available then you have to change the name so just makes just keep in mind you have this has to be unique right so hello pcf then you have to i didn't define the path you have to give the path of the jar that is there which from where artifact to pick 
which is to be uploaded to the PCF, right? So hyphen P after that it is going to read. So we are in the same directory, so it is good, right? So just that that's it. This is the command that we have to give and press enter and set back. Everything will be done by the CFCLI to upload the artifact. And when it is uploaded, everything will be done by the PCF environment, right? So see the steps that it is performing, right? So it is the getting the app info. It is seeing, it is interacting with the PCF environment that is on the back end to see that if app, the any application with this name is available or not. If it is not available, if it is available, it will throw an error. What error is that? So I already have taken one screenshot of that. So you will get the error like this. The, if you push the hello, it was already available with the different space in the same org, right? Uh, in some org, right? So getting app input, app cannot be mapped to the route. This one, the route exists in different space. You will get this error. So this hello, this hello that is there, it should be unique. The name of the artifact right so after that it created app with these attributes what name it gave that you have mentioned hello pcf path path from which it picked the jar you mentioned this and it has picked the users at this complete path and this is the route that it has uh, created for you right creating app by this name mapping routes with this one comparing local files to remote cache so if it is already available with the system right packaging files to upload so it is packaging the files and it uploaded at this step so there is concept of droplet right so droplet is created at this step right so waiting for api to complete processing files so what is droplet i'll explain in the next video right staging app and tracing so staging is this step that is in pcf so i'll also explain that for now skip that so it is downloading the different different jars and different build packs what is the build pack it it is the jar that helps in starting your application right so what is build pack we'll see in the next video there is different terms that we have to understand right so explain that in the next video right so it is downloading the different build packs then what it is this is the id of the cell creating container for instance this so everything that is artifact it is providing the id to each and every space right so cell successfully created container for instance so container for our application created at this step right so downloading app package so it downloaded all the packages as our application is java based so it is the java build pack taking advantage of that so expanding jdk re downloading open jdk memory calculator and all these things so uploaded droplet so droplet is created so it is uploading the droplet droplet uploaded completed build artifacts cache at this point droplet is complete uploading complete so cell stopping this instance container for in this instance so cell successfully destroyed container for instance so after st starting the application it is destroying that cell that was used to start the application right waiting for app to start so when application is started it gave you all the information so hello pcf this is the name and this is the status of the current status right so this is the route with which we are going to access the rn point so last uploaded stack and build pack which was used to start this application so what is build pack this is important we'll see in the next video what is the type of this application that we just pushed the web number of instances memory uses and the start command any application this one, there is some command that is used so this is the complete command that it used right so this is the brief of the application state instance cpu how much memory details all those stuff here right so let's go ahead and access this one right so copy this one this is the place and this is the endpoint that it has right so we are getting hello pcf so at the time of recording uh, i'm not going to stop this application so even if you access this one this url you will get this output right so 
if it is running properly on the pcf environment you will get this response right so i'm uploading this uh, at this moment if you are uh, seeing it in uh, one day two day you will see this response on your machine also this is the beauty of the pcf right you you see after pushing after using this command and sitting back you get all the information do not have to care about what memory uh, what infrastructure what server and what all those steps that is taken care by the pass platform as a service provider that is pcf right so if you want to get the information about your app so command for that is cf app and then hello pcf123 name of the exact name right so you will get the information about your app so in health any status for first it will check whether it is available or not if it is available it will show the details otherwise not you want to list all the application that are there with the with this environment with this org in particular space enter this it will give you the clear detail getting apps in this org and this space as this user so what you have access to it will give only those details right so this is the place this is the detail that you are, can get from the cli let me go to the dashboard and show you uh, what is going on there right so this is the place where i already logged in with this user right so if i refresh this one green learner test uh, this one so if you see development space we post one application to this test space that we are logged into right so this is running already right yeah hello pc phone two three and this is the place route information that you can go ahead right so this was the just it pushing first up hello world application and playing around with this right so you go ahead and play around more about this uh, explore this option and see this application what are these so you can see more details about you can directly start and when you post your application you can do a lot of the things with your application right you can stop it restart it restage it difference between restate restage and restart will explain in the next videos you can see the pcf matrix and all this are coming in the next videos right so in the next video i'm going to explain you the application actual application that we will be using for the demo for the next videos and we will see more things about this one right so scaling and all those stuffs are on the way if you want to see other videos you can go to this one where we have source code and other topics this is the playlist on youtube go ahead and play around with this see you in the next video take care bye bye